For those of you not aware already, Aiden Ross is a live streamer who built his audience off the back of streaming video games like NBA 2K and Grand Theft Auto. Initially heavily involved with Twitch, Aiden would transition to Kick in early 2023 after being banned from the former platform numerous times. Born in Boca Raton, Florida, Aiden has lived all over America throughout his still young life, growing up in New York City before settling into Three Rivers, California for his teenage years. While attending Woodlake Union, in high school, Aiden nurtured his passion for streaming, even going so far as to skip his high school prom so that he could continue gaming. After establishing his audience with the help of NBA 2K, Aiden began hosting e-dating streams on Discord and in early 2021, he moved out of his family home and into a content house alongside the likes of FaZe Banks, Summer Rae, Mike Malak, Cav Cooperman, and Ricegum. From there, his relationship with fellow influencer Karina Kampf would continue continued to increase his popularity, especially whenever these two happened to hop into a hot tub together. Unfortunately for Aiden, this relationship would ultimately prove to be the reason that he moved out of the LA Cloud House as well. It wasn't anything Corinna did, instead it had everything to do with a man Aiden once considered a friend, his colleague Ricegum. In late 2021, Ricegum reignited a beef he had with British internet sensation KSI, mocking the Brit's girlfriend and career. Rather Rather than join in and criticize KSI, Aiden remained neutral on the subject, something that seemed to bother Ricegum. After, Ricegum would accuse his friend of defending KSI and things only escalated from there. Resorting to some truly trollish behavior, Ricegum began DMing Karina on the down low, but eventually Aiden found out and he was not happy about it. Thus, Aiden was so upset that he moved out of the LA clout house altogether. And who could blame him? The question became then, where would Aiden move next? During all of this controversy, he contemplated moving back to Florida, but eventually settled on moving somewhere in the city of Los Angeles. More specifically, he headed to the Hollywood Hills. In late 2022, Aiden Ross spent $5 million to purchase a home in central LA. Formerly owned by the likes of Charlie D'Amelio and NBA star Kelly Oubre Jr., this home featured the exact kind of celebrity pedigree Aiden was searching for. An impressive combination of modern lines and easy California sensibilities, this party pad is a sweet place, hosting a ton of privacy backed up against a massive hill. As you might expect, the indoor-outdoor lifestyle is in full effect for this 5,500 square foot property. It's situated on just under half an acre of land thanks to a series of enormous automated glass panels slide open to unite the main living spaces with the outdoor area. Tucked by behind gates in the exclusive area of LA known as Lower Nicholas Canyon, Aiden's home was originally built in 2019 and has barely been lived in by the people who've owned it since. A glassy front door leads inside and from there a soaring entry foyer greets you displaying an indoor garden and floating staircase. Not far away, a gigantic great room boasts a living room adorned with a built-in fireplace and wet bar, which is the area Aiden most frequently streams from. There is also also a fireside dining area that joins a sleekly designed chef's kitchen featuring a stunning waterfall island, high-end appliances, a fancy wine rack, and an extra large walk-in pantry. Elsewhere on the lower level is a guest bedroom with an ensuite bathroom that currently serves as Aiden's home office. Upstairs is where the rest of the bedrooms are located, all of which come complete with attached washrooms of their own. The most notable of these rooms is, of course, the sun-drenched master suite, which boasts a seating area, fireplace, walk-in closet, a dressing room that rivals clothing stores, and not one, but two balconies overlook the outdoor living area. There's also a luxurious marble bathroom to accompany this space with dual vanities, one extra large rainfall shower, and a freestanding soaking tub. As for the home's resort-like backyard, it features a salt water pool and spa combo flanked by an eye-catching waterfall. There's even a full bathroom out here just in case nature
temperature calls while you're in the middle of a few laps. Nearby, there's a sprawling patio that's perfect for alfresco dining, thanks in no small part to its fireside conversation area and outdoor kitchen setup with a built-in barbecue. A bonus is definitely the integrated smart home and speaker systems throughout, as well as three-car garage and motor court with room for an additional six vehicles, including an electric charging station. Well, I can't imagine a more luxurious place to stream from, and I'm sure Aiden felt the same way, until things began to go horribly wrong. Why did Aiden leave such a beautiful spot? Well, it all comes down to squatting. Every job has its occupational hazards, even streaming, and I'm not talking about thumb blisters from gaming or sore throats from talking too much either. I'm referring to the potentially dangerous trend of swatting. Swatting is what happens when you take a good natured prank and turn the volume up to 11. It involves reporting a fake emergency, usually to the police, then results in a SWAT team being sent to the address in question, all in an attempt to simply disrupt the person who's streaming. Aiden's no stranger to this practice. In fact, he was once swatted twice in the span of a few months shortly after moving into his new home. The first happened in August 22, when police came storming into his streaming space, catching him completely unaware. Then three months later, it happened again. This time, Aiden was a little bit more upset over what happened. As a result of these multiple swatting attempts, the LAPD had to take steps to change how they responded to calls regarding Aiden's home. They resorted to a workaround involving contacting his security team to confirm if the call was real or bogus before sending officers or choppers to the scene. A few months later, while Aiden was visiting Las Vegas, he'd have to cut his trip short too after learning someone was trying to break into his home. While Aiden never specifically addressed the rumors, he did have some words for people who believed he was capping, adamantly denying the accusation. After all these occurrences though, the damage had been done. Aiden decided to sell the home he had lived in for barely over a year and even accepted a small loss. According to TMZ, Aiden originally listed this home in March 2023 for $5.5 million. Unfortunately, no one bit. So a few months later, he dropped the price tag down to $4.9 million and found a buyer in July of that year. Well, for now, we don't know exactly where Aiden Ross is moving next, but we do know who he's planning on moving in with. And if the rumors are to be believed, it won't be low key either. During a recent stream on Rumble, controversial streamer Sneeko revealed that Aiden has been reaching out to other influencers behind the scenes to set up a new content house. Well, we don't know who exactly he's planning on inviting, but according to Sneeko, it might include himself, Aiden, Neon, Cheezer, and maybe Fuzzy. Some of these guys seem pretty controversial, so who knows what would happen if that's true. Maybe Aiden didn't learn anything from his first go around living in a content house, because this combo of talent sounds like a nightmare waiting to happen. As for who Aiden himself thinks would be a good addition to this new collective, he's recently been seen recruiting iShow Speed to move to Miami with with him and taking real life content to a whole other level. Where will Aiden settle down next? We'll just have to wait and see, but once we find out, we'll update you on everything there is to know about the place. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and before you leave, consider answering the following question. If you were a full-time influencer, would you rather live in a collective or on your own? Let me know what situation would lend itself to better content for you in the comments below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Kara, and if you'd like to check out another celebrity tour, then and stay tuned because next I'm about to take you inside YouTuber Salish Matters Homes. I'll see you next time. Bye. Meet the 13-year-old Salish Matter, a rising American Instagrammer, YouTuber, TikToker, and social media sensation. She's famously recognized as the daughter of renowned author, photographer, and social media star Jordan Matter. In 2020, Salish emerged on various social media platforms, quickly gaining popularity and building a substantial fan base. She made her debut on her father's Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube accounts. Additionally, she launched her own Instagram account under the handle Say Say Matter, which now boasts over 1.4 million followers. 
Before her rapid rise to fame, Salish Matter began her frequent appearances on social media in 2020. In addition to her social media endeavors, Salish is a skilled gymnast. Salish has formed collaborations with popular content creators like Nadal Wonder, whom she affectionately refers to as her bestie. Family plays a significant role in Salish Matter's life. Her older brother, Hudson Matter, is not only a photographer, but also a social media star. Adding to their family dynamics, they have a delightful dog named Boomer, who often makes appearances across Salish's social media channels. In 2023, Salish Matter's net worth is estimated at $3 million, a testament to her growing influence and entrepreneurial ventures at such a young age. While she's recognized by her father's legacy, Salish is carving her own path in the digital world, promising to leave her own mark. Recently, the Matters have embarked on a house challenge to find their new home. They visited several houses in different locations, but they ultimately chose a house located in the LA suburbs as their new home. This house captured their hearts due to its suburban charm and various appealing features, making it the ideal choice for their family. In this video, Salish and her family invite fans to explore their new home. While it's still a work in progress, let's dive into the unique features and amenities that define this house. Salish introduces their house tour with an unexpected feature, an elevator installed for convenience. It's a lifeline for elderly family members who prefer it over stairs. This living area reveals a familiar couch from their previous home, filled with cherished memories. Now, moving on to the kitchen. They show us their fridge, their coffee maker, and practical cereal dispensers that streamline busy mornings. Now, this kitchen is where the culinary magic happens. This organized pantry sparks playful arguments and the family shares a humorous moment concerning Jordan's DIY haircut. We gotta admit, this pantry is a point of pride. Just look at that organization. Salish and Jordan have a ton of laughs as they take us back to the living room where Say has already claimed her territory. Here, adding to the features of the living room is a record, an array of books and family pictures, and a huge frame TV. Now to the backyard. Stacey and Jordan showcase various elements of their outdoor space. They have a bench for additional seating, a warm fireplace for chilly evenings, an outdoor ping pong table perfect for friendly matches and family fun. Then a sunken trampoline even adds an element of adventure to their backyard, which seems to be Stacey's favorite feature. The tour in the backyard concludes by featuring a lovely swinging chair, which is a perfect spot for relaxation and offers a beautiful view. Now, back inside, the house features a wine room turned a yarn cabinet and room labeled as the dining room. However, since the latter still lacks furnishings, they both speculate that it might eventually become mom's office. Let's head to dad's office now. Completely detached to the house itself, this spot is reserved for Jordan. A thoughtful housewarming gift from YouTuber Darman adds a personal touch. And proudly on display is their diamond play button, a recognition for reaching 10 million subscribers on their channel. During this part of the tour, there's a conversation regarding their patio's purpose. Jordan proposes the idea of installing a fire pit in that space to create a warm ambiance for storytelling and heartfelt conversations. As they go up the stairs, a glimpse into Hudson's room reveals a peaceful vibe with a ton of natural light. But then, Salish adds an element of playful surprise attempting to enter her parents' bedroom, despite Jordan's earlier insistence that their room isn't prepared for viewing and even attempted to jump only to reveal a balcony. The tour takes an unexpected turn as Salish decides to showcase the laundry room before unveiling her own room. And now the grand finale. Stacey excitedly announces her own room, but there's a twist. It's far from ready due to their recent move, leaving it devoid of the personal touch that she wants. However, she assures her viewers that a dedicated video on her dad's channel will showcase her room's transformation in the very near future. In conclusion, while this house isn't entirely ready for a traditional house tour, it's the Salish and her family's unique dynamics and small details within these walls that truly make it feel like home. Now, before you head out and before we wrap up this house tour, answer this question for me. If you had an elevator in your mansion, would you opt to use it over traveling up the stairs? Let me know in the comments if a handy elevator might make you lazy. I'm more of a stairs person myself. 
But don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a house tour. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!